Early Tuesday morning, March 26, 2024, chaos struck Baltimore as a container ship, the Dolly, collided with a pillar of the Francis Scott Key Bridge, causing a catastrophic collapse. The impact sent vehicles plunging into the Patapsco River below, triggering a frantic rescue operation. Emergency responders worked tirelessly to locate survivors amidst the wreckage. Two individuals were rescued from the water, but the fate of others remained uncertain as the search continued. Welcome to Explore Crimes. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. And right now, we do want to get straight to that breaking news that we've been telling you about out of Baltimore. The Francis Scott Key Bridge has collapsed. That's right. Shocking video from the city of Baltimore. Live stream shows the moment a large container ship collided with one of the bridge's pillars, bringing the bridge completely down into the Patapsco River. Fox 5's Melanie Onwick is live at the scene. Uh, Mel, do we know any more details about possible casualties? I know that the, there's a search and rescue underway here. Uh, we don't know any hard details. Uh, we've been asking Maryland Transportation Authorities, but uh, they are not forthcoming with that information at this point. And, and to be honest, I think they really just don't know. Uh, if you look at that video, you're focused on the bridge span itself, the ship coming in, the black smoke coming off of it, it hitting one of the pillars, and then that bridge just like it was a made out of popsicle sticks, just collapsing into the water. But it's hard to see whether there were a certain number of cars on the bridge. But we do understand that is the belief that there were cars on the bridge that plunged into the water. But uh, Maryland Transportation Authority is not giving us any actual numbers at this point. So you'll see just sort of a shadowy outline of it. And we also have Skyfox video as well. And uh, what I can tell you is happening right now. There's going to be you're going to see some lights lit up. And what they're doing is uh, they've got some crews in there that are trying to light up the side of that ship and other areas where they suspect that there might be uh, areas of interest and things to work on. And, and that's what they're doing right now is investigating, trying to see what they can do here. And again, uh, we can tell you that all swift water teams in the area available are here. Dive teams on hand, Baltimore Fire and Rescue notifying all of the local hospitals that they may have many patients. Now, this bridge was built in 1977. Its span is 1.6 miles long. It carries 11 million cars a day. We know that there's going to be major traffic impacts, but uh, that is really not the focus right now. The focus is on what exactly happened on this cargo ship and who may be in that water. What we can tell you about the ship is it left about a uh, little after one this morning from Dundalk. It was headed out of the port of Baltimore. Uh, it is called the Dali, and it is headed for Colombo. Uh, that ship is registered in Singapore, uh, but we really have no idea at this point what may have caused that ship to go off track. Obviously, things that, ships that come in and out of Baltimore quite familiar with the channel, quite familiar with the route. Uh, but all of this still our investigation. We can tell you that the county executive, as well as Baltimore Mayor Brandon Scott, uh, heading this way. And uh, we don't know about other officials as well. Everyone uh, sending their thoughts and prayers. But really, the focus right now is on those rescue efforts. Lynn Governor was more declared a state of emergency, mobilizing all available resources to aid in the rescue efforts. Federal agencies, including the U.S. Coast Guard, joined the operation, deploying boats and helicopters to scour the river for any signs of life. Investigators worked to determine the cause of the collision, focusing on the actions of the local pilots who were guiding the ship. However, the exact circumstances leading to the disaster remained unclear. As the investigation into the Francis Scott Key Bridge collapse continues, authorities are diligently working to uncover the circumstances surrounding this tragic event. Our hearts go out to all those affected by this devastating incident. In the face of such adversity, the resilience and unity of our community shine through as we stand together in support of one another during this challenging time. Thanks for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next video.